So the United States Air Force came over to be advisors for uh, the Israelis. So we're not doing the maintenance, but we're doing over-the-shoulder advice for them while we're teaching them. So what we have is we've got about four years of experience on this jet compared to the Israelis. So we're bringing that, that subject matter expertise and that experience we've had operating the F-35A for that time, coming here, and that's how we're helping integrate them. They're going through our training programs in the States, and then we've got the contractors with Lockheed Martin and Pratt & Whitney that are here as well acting as advisors. Our primary role is to kind of serve as the military advisor to them and, and give them that experience on a daily basis from what we've seen. So what we've learned from the Israelis is we're operating this aircraft in the States in, in a stateside um, perspective. In other words, when we when we would go into a, a combat or a contingency operation, we're going to leave our stateside bases to do that. When we come to Israel, we get to see how you would do it on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's peacetime or if you were in a contingency operation. Just the facilities alone that you work out is something that we get an experience to see how how you merge everything together to make the sorties happen from the perspective of training as well as if you have to go to combat. So it's really neat for us to see and gain experience from you on because because the way you operate it day in and day out is how you would operate whether it was a peacetime or a combat sortie. That's not how we're doing it over in the state. So we're learning a lot seeing that here.